Here is. Better. Let's go. There is pain and there is suffering. There is a difference between them. Pain comes from outside you. It comes because of the events of your life and that's not a choice. That's unavoidable. That's the design of the video game of life. This is pain. Life will have challenges. It will have harshness. These are the moments when you actually strive and learn and stretch yourself and become better. And these are the moments that most often you look back at and you say, oh my God, look at how far I've come because of that bully in school. Or look at how happy I am with my partner now because of that bad person I was with that taught me something, that harshness makes us better. Pain will happen. Suffering is a choice. Suffering is feeling the pain and replay it over and over in your head. Happiness starts with a conscious choice. A conscious choice of accepting life exactly as it is can make a big difference. Once these thoughts of unfulfilled expectations are refocused, the way we feel will change accordingly. Our thoughts can be controlled. Yes, our thoughts can be controlled. Our brain can only focus on one thought at a time. Try to think about butterfly and a car at the same time. You can't do that. You just switch between two thoughts very quickly. Try to read this sentence and count down from 643. You can't do that. So how can you use it in your advantage? Flood your thoughts with things that make you happy and push negative thoughts away. These can be simple thoughts like... Yes, I know that this technique may sound childish, but why do you think that happiness is something that has to be earned with difficulty? Another helpful thing is creating your happy list. Take a moment and write down some of the things that make you happy. Start with, I feel happy when... and fill out the sentence however you want. In general, the process of writing your thoughts down helps to solidify them. Seeing them on the paper allows you to see them more clearly. Here are some good news already. The very fact of creating your happy list makes a very happy experience. So much so that, so when you are finished, you should feel energetic and refreshed. Work on your list at least once a week, adding new things. Not only it puts a smile on your face, but it also helps you cultivate something that psychologists say contributes to happiness over a long haul. An attitude of gratitude, which happens when you acknowledge the truth about our modern lives and the fact that there is plenty things to be happy about. I know what you might think. Yeah, but in this world has so many things and problems to worry about and you are telling us just think positive and it will help? Bullshit. Let me paraphrase your words. 
I was eating junk food and didn't exercise for years and you are telling me that 5 push-ups will improve my health, huh? Yes, that's exactly how it works. 5 push-ups today, long walk tomorrow, swimming pool after tomorrow, day by day you need to practice in your mental gym consistently. Make it your habit. And remember, when nothing is certain and nothing ever is, choose to be happy. Thank you for watching, goodbye.